number six. Now I have some something crazy happening here, but don't worry about it. Okay, I could multiply both sides by 5.12 if I wanted to clear that fraction, but I don't wanna start doing crazy things with decimals just yet. Because I just have my variable over 5.12, I'm just gonna wait a minute and see what happens. Here's what I mean. If you imagine this, as u plus 3 equals 7, what would you do? Well, you would say, well, I want to eliminate that positive 3. So I'm going to subtract, oops, it's going to say minus 3 on both sides, or negative 3 on both sides, right? And I would get u equals 4. Okay, well, let's bring back that 5.12. Okay, so now what? Well, if you have a variable over a number, to get to eliminate this number down below, you multiply both sides by it. Now, if you don't remember doing that, think about it like this. If I had u over three equals 10, I'm dividing u by three. To eliminate this three that's in the denominator, I could multiply by three, can I? Imagine I have one u over three. Multiplying by the reciprocal is what we usually do, isn't it? Right? So multiplying by that denominator actually helps me solve. So what's the difference if that denominator is a decimal or a whole number? the process still works the same. So I can multiply both sides by this denominator. And those eliminate on the left. And on the right, I get 5.12 times four. I have two digits behind the decimal in my problem. So I get two digits in my answer. Twenty point forty eight. That's a little trickier, but it's nothing you can't do. Full practice exam number twenty two, solving equations part one.